We know you want me to keep it quiet. Don't kill anyone or I'll abort the mission. The Pentagon has contracts with this place all around the world. The President will have puppies if he finds out we're doing this. I don't know. Why? Well, Marco says hurry up. He says the air is getting stale inside. What the hell do I care what Marco says? I don't even know him. I'll tell him you said that. Huh. Go ahead. Boy, are you in trouble. Whatever. Someone's up to something. This isn't funny. I saw something there. certainly entitled to request protection at that level from the National Guard, I agree. But let's face it, the National Guard is a massive, cumbersome organization. Sure, that's what we need, a presence. On the contrary, the people want protection, they need protection, but they don't want to see protection. It frightens them. Having the National Guard on every corner will keep the peace, but at what cost? They'll get over it, Julian. In the end, the thing they'll remember is that the National Guard is cheap. I'm dealing with tax... Good work, Sam. Now you'll be able to access the central server on the first floor. This wireless stuff makes life a lot easier. Yep. Welcome to the Wi-Fi era. Remember, you're saying that to a guy from the era of Hi-Fi. Hi-Fi? As in, like, high in fiber? Uh, don't put me in adult undergarments yet, kid. Electrochromic windows, could they be your windows to the future? Sam, each of Displace's different divisions seem to have their own server farm. I've put a program on your OPSAT that will build a little back door into their networks. You want me to upload that to each division server? I would appreciate it. Since you asked so nice.
Good work, Sam. That's the first of their servers. If you can upload that to each of the other ones, I'll be able to snoop around as much as I please. I'll see what I can do. Let me just get these windows before we go. Aw, oh, man, I love that. We have to get some of those at City Hall. Email me and remind me. I'll set you up with a good deal. Whoa. That was weird. Yeah, I've heard of this. It's called an electrochromic window. A small electric charge can change the opacity of microscopic crystals embedded in the glass. Cool. I'm thinking that your OCP should be able to toggle the state of the windows. I'm uploading the specification to your OPSAT. Thanks, Will. So, what did you want to show me? In the lobby of the Empire State Building, there are four brass rondelles, Art Deco pieces. Each rondelle represents one of the four disciplines of skyscraper construction. What, like engineering, financing, real estate? Machines, concrete, decoration, elevators. Elevators like this one here. Huh. Okay, Julian, what's your point? My point is that every single day, five million New York executives ride elevators. Elevators that they can't do their jobs without. So... Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline? Damn it! I could have sworn I saw someone down there. I guess it was nothing. Well, whatever it was, it ain't here now. Guess we can write that one off. Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake. Should this be off? Not usually, and I'm pretty sure it was on earlier. Pretty sure? Or sure. Nah, I give up. Something. It'll be back. Well, you're worried about the cost, huh? You're worried about what the taxpayer will think. But it's a mistake to think that those two things are fundamentally tied together. Stairs are cheaper than elevators, Tom. Why don't we have stairs as the fourth discipline of skyscraper construction? No one is gonna take the stairs up 70 stories. And does anyone ever question how much an elevator costs? Of course not. Right. And I'll tell you why. Because the cost of an elevator isn't measured by what you get. It's measured by what you avoid. This place is expensive, Tom. I mean, there's no denying that. But it's not important how much it costs to hire us. What's important is how much it costs not to hire us. A bunch of good old boys from the Appalachians with M4s in every street corner. I mean, yeah, sure, it'll get the job done. But in the end, relying on the National Guard is like taking the stairs. If you want to keep those five million executives going to work every day, I suggest that you take the elevator. Huh. Well, you maybe got a point there, Julian. Of course I have a point. Let's go talk to Mike.
Good work, Sam. Upload that program to the last server and you'll make me the happiest girl in the world. You're easy to please. Access is a girl's best friend. It's a pretty cushy posting, that's for sure. But I heard the guy was really annoying. The guy isn't there anymore. He's out of town. What, so you're just watching his stuff? <laughs> yeah, emptying his liquor cabinet and playing video games. He's got the new Prince of Persia. Yeah, I heard it's awesome. Gonna be game of the year, man. Can't wait to play it.
There's got to be a way through to the server room from this area. Firing ranges <laughs> usually have ventilation to clear the smoke. It probably ties into the AC system for the server room. Good thinking. Thanks, Sam. That's the last one. I can't wait to sniff around in Displace's laundry basket. Uh... What? Laundry. I totally forgot. like someone has shunted the data we need off the server. Login name M. Nedich. Mylon Nedich? That name is coming up an awful lot, but we still don't have anything on him. Probably a pseudonym. I'll see if I can find out who he really is. In any case, we need to get access to his computer. His office should be on the upper floor somewhere. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but... I see it. Power's coming back on. I see it, Grim. You got company. You might want to... I see it. Check the server and make sure nothing got fried when the power came back on. Okay. Give a shout if you need anything. Will do.
been hearing some creepy stuff about Mylon. I'm not sure I can trust him. Yeah. I heard he got drunk with some of the guys in Istanbul last month. Wandered out of the bar looking for a fight. They found him the next morning, covered in blood. What thinks he killed someone? Read a newspaper article the next day. Istanbul police found some guy cut to ribbons just a couple of blocks from the bar. Sorry to bring you in here so late. You need to put some extra men on the Zerkazy details. Your name, kid. See if we can find Zerkazy? The wacko in the penthouse uptown? Well, it's perhaps best not to refer to our client as the wacko, but yes, him. Or rather, his penthouse. Milos Nowak is, uh... Who? Mylon. Mylon Nedic. Crazy Slavic names. I always get them confused. Anyway, Zerkazy is out of town, so there won't be a VIP, just the property. Okay. Sounds like a breeze. Well, it hasn't gone perfectly smooth so far. You'll get the full VIP rate, and you'll be on duty as though there is a package on site. Okay. Got it. Good. You report at 1300 tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. This thing is stuck! I'm going through! Gotcha. Oh, hey! You're not supposed to be here! Tell me something useful and I'll leave. Uh, forget it! I won't tell you anything! Are you crazy? We're on the 60th floor. Uh, what? What do you mean? You know, it's not true that you go unconscious before you hit the ground. You see it coming the whole way. You... you wouldn't! You want to convince me not to? Uh, uh, door code to the executive offices is 2346. What the hell was that? Nothing here. I'm sure there's nothing here.
Hokkaido. Hokkaido? Isn't that basically the Alaska of Japan? Yeah. Looks like Mylon Nedich has secretly relocated Zerkezi there. Interesting. Now we definitely need to talk to Shetland. Will its State Department handle that mess? You're going to Hokkaido. We're sending a helicopter to evac you from the roof. <laughs>